Good morning. Today I'm going to show how to make a cup just with coils. So what we're going to be doing today is making a cup that's three inches wide. So you're going to need a ruler and six inches tall. The other tool you're going to need is your popsicle stick or this week I'm handing out a new tool, um, this modeling tool that is basically your popsicle stick with a sharp edge. So the whole thing is done with coils. We're going to start by making the bottom. So we're just going to coil round and round until we get to three inches. More or less three inches. I'm not going to be using really the ruler and measuring them. So if they're a little bit bigger or smaller, no big deal. So, so about three inches. Okay, what we're gonna do is as we build upwards, we're gonna blend it as we go. If we were to make the whole cup and then try to get to the bottom and blend it, it, um, it'd be very hard to reach our hand in there. So we're gonna take the sharp end of the stick here, and you can see I'm blending the coils together, kind of like an X. Dragging one coil into the next coil, and it makes it really rough at first. Then you're gonna flip the tool over, and on the other side, use the rounded flat side to smooth it out. You can also use the edge of the tool. And of course you can use the best tool, your fingers also. So, my fingers can get it really smooth. And the cool thing about this is that the pattern on the outside stays. So we're just blending the inside of the cup so that it holds water, easy to clean. And then the outside still has the pattern, kind of cool. Okay, so now we're gonna go up. We're gonna build on the, on the base here. Now, if you wanted to, you can just take your coils and go up six inches straight up. If you wanna be a little bit more creative, you can make designs out of the coils. So I've made a few designs here. And instead of just coiling, you can make some cool patterns with the lines that the coils create. So I've got these little uh, scrolls, little zigzags, little spirals, and we even consider these little pieces of clay, these balls, as a coil. And so how I make that is I just take a little bit of clay and in between my hands, and roll it like that. For they're very helpful to fill up spots. Okay, this clay is all soft, so it still can be bent. So when I put them on, I kind of bend, in, bend them to be round, like the edge of the cup. Sometimes when you put things together, there'll be a gap. So you, I like to use these balls to fill up the gaps. I can press the next one on. And we're only gonna build a little at a time, maybe an inch or two, and then we smooth it out. We're gonna build another inch or two and smooth it, and so on and so forth till we get to six inches. Oops, ball's a little big. And I don't really have one that fits in there, so I'll just make one as we go here. A 
you'd like to be more organized and have a row of pinwheels and a row of balls, a row of coil, so it's very organized, that's a cool way to do it. You can also just randomly put your designs down. So we don't want to go any higher than that before we start blending the inside. So the inside is going to be blend, blended the same way as the bottom. We first start with the sharp side of the stick. And I'm going to hold my hand on the outside for support. So as I blend the inside, and I like to make X's, I go one way and then the other way. So when I blend the inside, it's going to stay in its form if you have your hand supporting it. Your hand almost becomes the pokey from the previous project. This is kind of counterintuitive. If your goal is to smooth the inside, why are we making it rough first? This is blending the coils together. If you just start smoothing it first and making it smooth, Quite often it doesn't blend the coils together and it has a, falls apart or has a crack. So you can see just how rough that is inside on the sides. Now I'm going to flip that over and use the round side. Same thing, support my hand. The bottom of it is round so at that edge where the bottom meets the side, you use the end of the tool and then on the sides you just use the side of the tool. And then again, I like to go after I'm all done with my finger and get it as smooth as I can. So it's getting really smooth in there. Okay. Take your time. Mine, for this demonstration, probably could be a little smoother, but for sake of time, we'll move on. All right, so you can see that's only two and a half inches, so I'm going to need to keep going. So I can just keep going by adding about an inch, at a, inch or two at a time. Okay, sometimes I give them a little bit of a pinch. Don't pinch too hard, but just to stick them together so when you blend them, they don't fall apart. Okay, so I'm ready to hold my hand on the outside using this sharp side of the stick again. And first blend them, and then we'll go back and smooth. Oops. 
Okay, now I'll go back and use the round side of the tool. Okay, we're almost getting there. So I'm gonna go up another few inches. It looks like to be about, about an inch and a half more. And, <clears throat> and then finish it off here. So I'd like you guys to go up to six inches. When you get up to six inches, it's gonna look something like this. It's okay if the the top is uneven, that's okay. I almost think they're, they're nicer when the top's a little uneven. So just for sake of time, let's pretend this is up to six inches. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add a coil on the top. That goes around the top and it's gonna hold it together two different ways. Physically, it's going to hold it together. When you smooth all this out, quite often where coils meet together, whoops, right, like here, um, if you don't have a coil across there, they could literally fall apart. Um, so it holds it together from these pieces falling off. But it also holds it together aesthetically. Meaning, well, you'll see here. It gives it a top. It gives it a line where it ends, very similar to a frame on a painting. So we're framing in our designs created by the coils. And whatever design you do, if you frame it in with this coil on the top, it's gonna hold it all together a lot nicer than just leaving it unfinished there. So I got the coil, same thing. Blend it together with the sharp end. And then go back and smooth it out. This top coil, sometimes I gotta blend it downwards because it wants to come up if you're going upwards, so. Okay, go back and smooth away. Then of course, the best is your fingers. Your lips are gonna be on the top here. You want it nice and smooth. So I've got a few more minutes to smooth it here. Also, I'm gonna set it aside for a minute or two, and when it stiffens up just a little bit more, it actually will be a little easier to smooth. Okay, so, see here, I didn't even use the, all the patterns. But we have a nice looking cup. Again, your cup for your assignment needs to be six inches tall, and needs to be smooth on the inside and we're gonna leave the coils on the outside for the pattern. And then don't forget to put that coil on the top to hold it all together. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. <coughs>